previously. And you know what, if the, um, I think if you're underground, the Eye of Cthulhu won't show up. But because we're exploring the top surface, if he's going to come tonight, then he'll still show up. And if he does, what that means is we can just magic mirror back to uh, our house and quickly get into um, our boss fighting arena. Uh, reason being, it usually gives you like a 30 second or 1 minute warning before a boss attacks. Now the boss itself, I could feel, does drop some nice stuff. I don't know if it's been updated since the patch, I haven't checked. But he drops a lot of Demonite ore, which is really sort of the next upgrade beyond Tungsten. Can I get that? There we go. Yeah, uh, after Tungsten you get Demonite ore. After Demonite ore I think it's like a Hellfire ore or something. M molten. Molten pickaxe, I can't remember how you make that. Hey! And then, once you have that, uh, you're pretty much done until hard mode. God, I hate the jungles. So dark. That's not why I hate them, but it's so dark. I hate the jungles because enemies here suck. I'm just swinging. It's easier than running over a torch and getting hit constantly. Provides like at least a bit of light. Should we pry again, aren't we? Got nothing on me. Got nothing on me. It should be towards the corruption. So, oh, what was that? Oh, that was the Eater of Souls, or it is the corruption-based enemy. Is actually what we were looking for. It means we're close, and of course, it means once again we're oh, doing this at night time. I fell down a hole. Should we get on here? Oh man, I'm just realised there might be a beehive down here. If there is, that sucks. I want to get in there like a, a pot, you know? Uh, you can find jungle temples. Oh. Oh, Dragon Snatcher does what I hate. I hate those. They stretch through the level and um, do lots of damage. I think if I just keep doing this, I might eventually hit them with stars. Take this, take this, take this. Jungle bats. Why did I come down? I should not. Oh, I've come down here. Leave me alone. Some tungsten. Looks like there's some stuff down here. What it is, though, is anyone's guess. Freaking piranhas. What have we got? What have we got? Got some cobwebs. Take them. Is that a chest? No, it's some iron ore or something. I'm going to keep going back to the map because, uh, well, there appears to be something in here under lots of vines. Let's dig down. What is it? I don't know. What is this? It was absolutely nothing. Fantastic. Where am I now? Where am I going? I can continue further down or we can make our way over this water. Let's go over the water. There's another dragon snatcher then, I'm looking forward to. Aha! Cheaty maneuvers. Get away, dragon snatcher. I'll chop you up, I'll chop you up. I hate them, they terrify me. They absolutely terrify me. Let's get in here and grab this. I can't tell what's treasure anymore. The, like I said, treasure used to show up bright pink. Look at these trees! <gasps> A hat! Nice. We'll grab this hat. Give me the hat. Seriously, it's just right there. Thank you. Into the menu. 
No, there's the torches. No, well, I don't care. Yeah, we have this wood here that I think I might just dig it up because I don't know what it is. Never seen it before. Can't put torches down. There we go. I wonder if it's that living wood. It's mahogany. Does not look like mahogany. Anyway. Hmm. Let's continue going further down. Further down we go, we're probably going to run into a beehive. If we do, we are screwed. Beehives are deadly. They spawn so many bees. You can get lots of stingers from them, which is handy, because you do need them uh, to create armor. I think it's a specific type of armor. If that's still no recipe that's in here. Things could have changed of course because of the patch. No. There that looks like a bee to me. And if I start taking too much damage I can always magic mirror out of here. Although I don't really have that much money to lose. There's a man eater there. Away. The man eater is, I believe, the weaker version of the dragon snatcher. Got a vine from it there. Now, vines, kind of important. Not for me right now, but you can use the vines to create. Ah, uh, you shouldn't be things at me. You can use the vines to create. Ah! Uh, a vine hook. Blah. Stop shooting me. I can't seem to get up here. I keep... I'm gonna head down here, this looks safer. Oh, there's a dragon hornet there, so that area's not... There's a normal hornet here. Oh, lots of dragon hornets. I'm going deep. I'm going deep. How about now? Where are we now? It looks like there's another way to go down there, but also a piece of stuff here. What is it? Anything good? Nothing that I can pick up. Okay. I'm just constantly swinging this sword for fear of uh, death here. Lots of tungsten, lots of gold. I'm poisoned or something. Take a potion. Now what we're going to do is we're going to dip drill in here, put a torch down. We're going to use some of this mahogany to just seal us in. And while we're here, we can dig up this tungsten. Fantastic, beautiful tungsten that we don't really have a use for, but we're going to keep getting it. We're also going to dig up this gold, because gold is useful. And now we're going to quickly just throw away crap that's in inventory. Hey, it's not too bad. Get rid of all that. Get rid of uh, some mushroom. Hey, we found it. When did we get a cabbage? Awesome. We can um, get a pet guinea pig with that. Now, according to the map, uh, we can keep going down even further. So, let's do that. Uh, no. So many cobwebs. I'm loving it. Fell into a deep pool of water there, but managed to get myself out of it. No, I'm gonna die. Freaking fall damage. No, 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 what is that? I don't know what this is. It's killing me though. Drink a potion. Well, I fell to my death. I kind of sucked. <laughs> On the bright side, we um, found another heart. Right, deposit all my money. Now, normally you can pay Nurse to heal you, but I have a healing band and regenerating fires, so I don't think that's going to be a problem. Ooh, another star. Now, when morning rolls around, we're going to... In fact, no, we'll, we'll do it like straight away right now. We're going to make a run for the corrupted area again. This time, we're not going to fall into a a deadly jungle hole and get mauled by hornets we need much better armor before we take those on and also well <laughs> no we don't really need to go into there it's just for like treasure and stuff I guess we could always get these stingers for the armor but I think we also need like jungle spores and lots of vines it's been so long I can't remember in fact, let's run along, the t run along the top of here, there might be some stars. Nice. Just the one. Better than zero. Am I running on top of a tree? Yes. 
So dark. Let's do the old sword manoeuvre. Get out of my way, zombie. Get out of my way. Oh, we're really packing up the stars now. We'll have maximum mana in no time. Now, according to the moon, I can just about see in the background. Uh, it should be daytime soon. It seems to be f slowly descending. More stars. Nice. Now, the bad thing about running around with your sword like this is that you'll just pick up random crap. Look at all these water leaves I'm picking up. Just random flowers and mushrooms and stuff. I don't particularly care for. They just have to be in the way as I'm chopping my way through. Get back. Right, so the ones with claws, the wolverine looking guys, they're tougher. But not by enough to annoy me or anything, but... I just seem to take a bit of damage before they die. Get away. Freaking wolverines. Now again, I haven't got my flippers on, but it wouldn't matter because I'm not in deep water. Maybe we should go to the beach. Of course, yeah, I have my flippers now. After we've done with the um, corruption, we'll go to the beach on the right-hand side and grab the watery chest from there. Last time we attempted this, we, well, A, didn't have flippers, so we couldn't swim and we could have drowned very easily. And uh, B, were killed by a shark almost instantaneously. So that did not bode too well. But we can, uh, we can make our way through this. Well, I was worried then, I thought I was going to fall to my death. We're really making our way through now. I think that might be in the hole I fell down. We'll soon see. This is deep. This is very deep water. Or is this it? No, I believe this might have been it. Don't go back. No. It, this sounds like a corruption area to me. I can't jump. Can't see. Oh, there's a thing there. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why it's so much darker for me than it is for you guys, but I really, really struggle to see on this. Alright, we're going down to one of these. Hopefully, lots of hearts, lots of treasure. Oh, hopefully, it's not just sunken underwater thing. God damn it. Now, some of these don't lead to the pathway underneath. Some of them just end abruptly like that. I'm going to swing this so I can see what's going on, and so you can see what's going on. Yeah, so you guys probably see stuff that I won't and be like, oh, you're missing out on so much crap, you, why are you not getting this stuff? It's so obvious, but to me it's not, I can't see it. My screen is so dark. Uh, this looks a lot bigger. But it didn't go very deep. <laughs> oh, come on. I don't have to, I'm not going to cheat. Am I overwhelmed? I've got about 200 hearts just saved up. Because I've pillaged many worlds clean of all the resources. I had to create, and then recreate, and then delete, and whatnot. Welds, separate welds. Just because my main weld ran out of resources. And then I decided to take upon myself that the world that I live in should never be de depleted of resources. So I tore down my castle that I was proud of, and holy hell, I built my ultimate castle, which is, whoa so much bigger than oh it's a chest can we place down a torch we can right enough talk about moving castle right let's open this and get another flare gun flare armor angel statue doesn't do anything silver bars arrows potions and torches give me all of this and also give me that chest <laughs> 